Well, if you own a home with a garage backing onto a laneway behind it, maybe you've thought about building an apartment above that garage. Well, right now it's actually not allowed in this city, but the city could be one step closer to making it easier for homeowners to do just that. If I make a laneway home, it might be something for my parents when they're older, but right now I can have money coming in and somebody else can get a lovely place to rent in downtown Toronto. For years, sisters Susan Pigeon and Jill Dimmick have been dreaming about building small apartments above their garages in their Leslieville homes. It went on the back burner for us. It was too costly, too complicated. You could spend a lot of money applying for permits and not get them, get drawings and not be able to build it. As it stands, those types of apartments, referred to as laneway suites, are not allowed in Toronto, except in special circumstances. Right now, the city makes decisions on a case-by-case -case basis, but some are hoping to change that. We're getting a lot of new rental units being built in the core and along the avenues, but very little rental housing is being built in the low-rise, livable communities. Craig Race is with one of the groups who's been studying the possibility of bringing laneway suites to Toronto, holding public consultations and conducting surveys with homeowners to help come up with a framework the city could use to allow laneway suites. We projected angular planes to make sure the roofs don't become overly dominant in the space. And we limited the amount of windows you're permitted to have so that you don't have lots of glass overlooking either the laneway or the backyards. How can we work something that is going to maintain the character of the neighborhood, respecting the rights of the neighbors? City Councilor Anna Bailao, along with Mary Margaret McMahon, have used that information to introduce a motion, asking the city's planning committee to bring a report to council on the matter. She believes it could be a solution to Toronto's affordable housing crisis, allowing a gentle increase in density downtown while helping homeowners generate income needed to afford a home. It's, it's basically, I, usually, I often say, taking your basement apartment and put it on top of your garage. Race also points out it could increase property values for homes with laneway garages, even if they aren't retrofitted. People are already buying houses based on the potential value, um, and this will just fall in line with what's already happening with basement apartments. But the idea isn't without some opposition. The report notes some of those surveyed expressed concerns about the increased density stress on local services as well as added traffic leading to lack of parking and increased noise in neighborhoods. We spent a lot of time sort of collecting the information for what Torontonians want to see. Yeah. So now the city needs to spend a lot of time figuring out how to actually change the bylaws to make it work. Now, the report that derived from those community consultations will be brought to the Toronto and East York Community Council June 13th, and the public will also have a chance to give their input then. Uh, the city's planning committee is expected to bring a staff report to council early next year.